because they have small necks. They're not as strong. They don't support the head as much. In fact, you may have seen one of these little football players get tackled, and when they get tackled, their shoulder pads hit, and then their head follows them all the way down to the ground and then back up. So it's not just the head that children get affected, it's also their necks that can be damaged. Their heads are big. They're heavier in proportion to the, their neck strength. And they're myelin sheaths. They have undeveloped myelin. Remember, myelin is the insulation that wraps around the axons of the neurons in the brain and in the spinal cord. And because that myelin isn't fully insulated and isn't as thick as it is when they become adults and get developed, it leads to easier ion shifts in exchange and puts them at a greater risk for damage. And so the effects of the concussion can be even more severe, long lasting, and in some cases, cause permanent residual damage. We want to avoid concussions in children